Good morning and welcome to three leadership tips in three minutes. What I wanted to start with today is there could well be moves to start to ease lockdown in the UK over the next few weeks. And I think whether you are an owner in a business, um, a leader within a business or a business person within a business is, I think you need to be ready to compromise and look for win-win solutions. There's gonna be a lot of complications about people coming back from furlough, people coming back from remote working. And I think there needs to be understanding on both sides. There's gonna be all sorts of things like childcare, provision, worries about health and safety, worries about social distancing. So I think there needs to be a lot of thought uh, given to this by owners and leaders within businesses over the, the next um, few days probably actually as, as we start to think about a plan for that. And seek expert advice as well um, from HR specialists etc on uh, what, what needs to be done and what you are uh, held to by, by way of contract. My second thought for today is around feedback. Now interestingly I was talking to a leader who's moved into a fairly new role uh, over the last month and what they were saying was they were going to wait until they had um, more of a formal review, possibly in two to three months time, to start asking for feedback. But I was um, convincing them that actually receiving feedback is an important ongoing thing. So. Um, she's going to do that at a regular one-to-one -one. and I think also don't just seek feedback on things that you believe you're not doing so well need to improve but also get feedback on things that you've been doing well so two very simple questions that you might ask of your um, your senior person or actually use with your people is what have I been doing well over the last month, two months, three months, and what do you think I could improve? So feedback is an ongoing, continuous thing. It's not just about appraisal review time. And the final tip today, again, working with a client this week who's got a new person in their team, we were talking about uh, when people get stuck uh, or when people keep coming to you for help. And one really good coaching model, which many of you may have come across, is the GROW model. And the G-R-O-W stands for, first of all, what is, what is your goal or what is the person's goal? The R is what is the reality of the situation they find themselves in at the minute? The O is what are the options to move forward? And that may include things like what they might have done in a scenario like this in the past. What, what would another person do who's in that posi position of expertise? And the W finally is what action will that person take? So when somebody's procrastinating, continually looking for you to find the answers to their problems, they're stuck, the GROW model is a great way to start to ease them out of that. And there's a lot of good questions you can ask at each of those four stages. In fact, I've got a resource. If anybody wants a copy of uh, the resource on GROW and the questions that you can ask, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll happily send you that. So there you go, those are my three leadership tips in three minutes. You have a great weekend.